Welcome to Talking Litter. Sorry. Welcome to Talking Litter. I'm Dan Donahue. This is the little show vlog weird rambling thing where I pick up litter in my neighborhood and I show you some of the cooler stuff that I find. And if you like it, you can subscribe. And if you don't like it, don't subscribe. But have a glass of water. Go for a walk outside. I'm sorry for ruining your day. But I think you will like it because it's pretty funny. Without further ado, and I'm sorry for this intro, let's get into it. We got the grabbers, we got the gloves, we're in business, baby. First step, lottery ticket. You know, the amount of lottery tickets I find picking up litter have really changed my mind about buying lottery tickets. I used to get them until I realized how many people actually lose. I'll pick up no joke, like maybe 20 every time I go out, and you really think, oh, buying a lottery ticket is a good idea when you only see the people standing, holding the big check, getting ready to lose every penny of that money in the next year to a cousin's bad investment. But when you see the losers, man, you really put it in perspective. And on the other end of the spectrum, a mask worn by a person who doesn't like to gamble. Mask mandate got lifted in LA quite a while ago, so I'm guessing this is someone who had to wear it for a special circumstance. He's visiting his grandma in the nursing home. She doesn't know where she is. He doesn't want to be there. He gets out. He's all mad, and he just tosses the mask to the ground and goes, why can't the rickets just take her? And before any of you go, rickets is something that usually affects children. Listen, adult rickets is a disease that is plaguing this country, and no one wants to take it seriously because for some reason, they gave it the funniest name in the world. And my heart goes out to those people. Sorry, I just teared up for a second. Let's, let's keep moving. So coming up here is an article of clothing. I find a lot of clothes and, uh, you know, a lot of them have human feces on them. But some of them are funny to look at. And this one was because I flipped it over and it turned out to be a bootleg Bengals golf pullover. The kind of person that would make a bootleg bangles golf pullover you 100 percent drink and drive that is just i don't know why and you won't be able to get me to explain deeper but i can say with 100 percent certainty that fell out of your car while you were going 80 in a school zone with a bottle of jack daniels in your hand and i hope you threw it away because you got a real one Coming up here, there's a piece of litter, and you know sometimes litter makes you sad, and this, this is one that really kind of got to me. It's a jack-in-the-box drink, which means someone had to eat at jack-in-the-box, and that, that really hurts my heart. Every year, unsuspecting men, women, and children eat at jack-in-the-box. I'm sorry, that's the last one I'll do. Here we have what I think is a crushed bang energy, and I can only imagine it was crushed when whoever drank it slammed it against their head as hard as they could, because that's what I do when I drink bang energy. We got a nice little line of trash, a nice little conveyor belt here, so I'm just gonna keep the camera rolling. And no, this is not just to show off my socks and sandals, but since you mentioned it, they're pretty cool. They look nice. You get a lot of stuff on the side of the street that, like, street sweepers just don't... Oh, God damn it! Why do I always fail? Getting good at the grabbers is a work in progress, okay? I bent down and picked up one of these. It's a little tiny plastic bag, and we all know what little tiny plastic bags are for. For when mice have little tiny sandwiches. And isn't that just so cute? This brings me to something interesting that you notice when you pick up litter, which are the things that no one ever litters. And to me, that signifies that those are the things that are actually important to people. And I've found a lot of things littered that you would think are important. I found food. I found important tax documents. I found things that are probably family heirlooms. And the one thing that I have not seen littered are unused narcotics. And doesn't that make... A whole ton of sense. So this is cool. This is the neighborhood washing machine. You walk by the neighborhood washing machine and you pray to it. You offer it sacrifices. You just do the kind of things that make a community a community. Coming up here, I thought this was going to be like my fifth condom wrapper. 
I found of the day, but no, it was actually a Girardelli Deli chocolate wrapper, which the only association I have with that is I bought a bunch of them for my high school girlfriend, and I thought I was so fancy. I thought I was just the coolest, suavest. doesn't have a mustache yet, but God, that doesn't mean that we're going to try for the rest of high school kid in the world. We got another fast food bag. This one's Carl's Jr. I don't really know anything about Carl's Jr. except one time a buddy of mine who didn't have a place to stay uh, crashed on my couch. And the next morning I was like, oh, where do you want me to drop you off? And he was like, Carl's Jr. And I was like, are you meeting somewhere there? And he was like, no, that is where I'm spending my day. So shout out to Carl's Jr. for being a refuge for sad comics. 7-Eleven coffee. Where to even begin on this one? I mean, I have drinking so much of this, and it's it's never a good time. It's never like wake up in the morning, oh, you know what? I'm going to have maybe a croissant, and I'm going to go down to the good old 7-Eleven and get a cup of coffee. No, this is a utilitarian coffee. This is a coffee for a person who needs to wake up when every fiber of their body is telling them not to. This is for a person, this is for someone whose job is so hard you've never even heard of it, like a, like an professional oil rig fighter. Or it's for somebody who does not have a job but needs to stay awake because they know how much their dreams will haunt them. God, I love 7-Eleven coffee. I actually come across a lot of children's toys when I pick up litter, and uh, I do consider children to be walking litter machines, and I know people get upset with me when I say this, and uh, especially their parents when I scream it in their faces, but that doesn't make it untrue. This is a uh, well-intentioned animal waste pickup station, which, like any project, public project that's been pursued in uh, this city or any other city, was not followed through on and ended up just being a big pile of, well, garbage. Came across this big patch of garbage and I thought I would uh, clean it up. Uh, we got a lot of the classics here, masks. We got a little nip of fireball for the person who somehow drinks enough to get a nip but doesn't drink enough to be comfortable with the flavor of alcohol to the point where they need to drink fireball. Here's the after. I cleaned everything. A lot of people ask me for like before and after videos, and the reason I don't do them a lot is the after video is still just Hollywood. Still not a great place. Little drumstick there, little memories of the summer when I was too ashamed of my body to wear a shirt in the pool. So then I would have to convince everyone around me, no, I prefer wearing a shirt in the pool. I, I prefer it feeling like a stingray is trying to tackle me at every moment. It, it was a tough balance, but you know, you learn coping skills and the gift of gab and how to wring out a t-shirt really fast so girls don't see you. And here we have a broken TV remote, which I can only imagine was thrown out by a disgruntled Cincinnati Bengals fan. While I'm not a big fan of team sports, I can always see and empathize a group of people in pain. And that is a Cincinnati Bengals fan base. I love you guys. Keep your heads up. Here's a scene that uh, I didn't really understand. Maybe you guys can help me make it out. But it's uh, Fiji, some fruit juice, Don Julio, and a Super Mario game, board game, video game. I'm sorry. Yeah, Don Julio is heavy, okay? That's how you know it's good. Listen, we're going to pick all this stuff up. Don't worry. I just Sometimes it takes a second to get the grabbers working. There it is, baby. Don Julio. Who says you can't drink premium tequila on the side of the road while playing Mario? Who says that? Literally, who said it? Because I have some fucking evidence against them, and they sound like an idiot right now. Sorry, some, uh, some about that got me fired up. Anyway, that's the litter. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and like for more.